Hello, buzz gods, welcome back to Belt Last Factorium. My name is Hansus T. Last time we dealt with uh, our satellite production, uh, tried to get that in order so we produce enough satellites to uh, continuously be able to launch rockets or launch rockets as, uh, as fast as we can build them. Not that rockets are standing here on the platform uh, waiting for a satellite. And I think uh, the, the slow port is still solar panels, but I think at least for the moment we have that sorted. However, what we noticed in the process is that we might have a bit of a shortage um, and a train congestion up here and a shortage of green circuits. Looking at the pickup stations, all are blue. Um, and I would assume here these ones are blue, not because a train is coming, but there is not enough green circuits waiting here so we need to boost that output and we previously noticed uh, with that many trains up here that's probably because a lot of our copper uh, is up here but we do not only need copper for our circuit production but also for other needs um, that's not really localized up here but more in the center of our base so what i was thinking maybe let's hook up a few more copper smeltery setups down here so we can supply everything that's not tied into the circuit production uh, into that one and then we may be, in order to boost electronics, we may be also look into our iron situation because here we're looking good. There we know uh, we're half dead. A similar picture here. However, here we could do some, some additional miners. And here we probably can also do some improvements. But first things first, uh, let's see. Yep, have have a few rails, um, few miners. Don't have any any electric furnaces. Well, let's grab a few materials and then i will meet you down there at our potential future copper field as with that many setups that we have i made a blueprint for the mining and we have to be a bit careful to not mix in uh, the iron but I think if we do it this way we should be good nope need to move it one over we can do that we can do that and then basically take the same blueprint have it here on this side and 
down here. And we probably want to uh, orientate the stations the other way around so that basically uh, the trains we can have double line then going here in this direction and basically loop around here like so but let the robots finish the build here uh, I might yeah for sure I need more furnaces I thought 100 was enough apparently I miscalculated um, also need more wooden chests six I can craft uh, and then the robots are out of juice so that's that's the plan for our copper field uh, so let me let me finish that real quick and then we can hook up the the rail line and uh, everything else everything is placed in save the railroad tracks which we will do just now and i think we will do it like this and then have this connect to there and once we have one train length here which is about there we can just move this over about here and then move that track back and have signals going all the way down And at the end there, we will have to make a curve, I think. Yep, that looks right. So here uh, we would then connect to here. but also there and we will have this this and that and that's the first station hooked up then here we will go down have a bit of a curve there out of rail so apparently I did not grab enough and I have a feeling we are a bit too close with the curve up there because here ah we come here from the top it it might still work because these two bottom stations i turned around so 
that should work better uh, as they are laid out now but I need more rails in order to finish this part of the project it's always the same story not enough materials it looks like I managed to connect all the rails however what we need to do is rename these stations because these are copper stations, but they should not be the same copper stations that we have up above. So uh, basically let's make a copper loading without the one. That should work. Different station. And then these can all be copper loading without the one. Maybe we need a dedicated waiting bay for these stations. Right. Three stations of that name. Um, probably want to connect power a bit this part and then over on this side That's connected. And then here, don't have any medium power poles. That will do. And here can have connection like this. Right, so the nearest waiting bay that we have is down here. Let's make this waiting and fix the typo. Waiting copper, copper plate loading non electronic, right? And then let's find trains that need copper. Um, these ones you want to have copper so now you go to waiting copper non-electronic um, waiting this one here and that replaces that one and then we have copper plate loading to here we have a condition item count for copper And here we have two, 2,000. Right, that's the same. That goes away. Right. Um, this one, that's, that's iron. 
here we don't have copper. That's iron, that's... Also no copper. No copper for sure. Then these ones, they have copper. And we have nine trains here. So uh, let's do those as well. And then all the rest. I think that would be a red science that has copper. And that should be it. But I will check. I think I've done it. Here on the northern stations for copper, we now only have 12 trains left and they all go for, or they are all supplying copper wires for our circuit production. And down here in the south, we might have not enough uh, stations because we have 18 trains going there. So over half of our copper train were actually not involved in, in, the, uh, in the circuit production. Um, and by the looks of it, uh, these stations are mostly blue because either there is not enough material there or we just have not enough stations providing copper. You also see this station is quite full, the waiting bay. So in order to further improve that, I think we have to add another uh, copper station probably on this field um, but we also should not forget that uh, we did that to boost our electronic production and while setting up the uh, the mining operation down here grabbing materials I noticed that we are low on um, inserters because we are missing the green circuits. So I think green circuits are next on the list. And uh, then we can see whatever bottleneck we need to fill in after that. Hope you enjoyed this one and uh, also tune in for the next. Until then, goodbye.